Hey, what's going on guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Upcom Media back with another Dokkan Battle video. And today, we are going to be showcasing the most recent Extreme Z Awakening on Global, STR Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta at Rainbow Status. Well, I guess I kind of say that about every single EZA showcase that I do, considering at the time of filming, they are the most recent EZA. But then if you guys watch it in the future, and more EZAs have come out, then I guess I would be lying. But you know what? <laughs> <laughs> That's not important. Let's move on to the showcase. We're showcasing STR Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta here. The team we're gonna bring him on is Super Saiyan 3 and the event is Super Class Only Super Battle Road because I feel like Super Battle Road is the best event to showcase just how insanely awesome of a unit he is both from a tanking perspective and also a damage dealing perspective. So um, we're gonna jump in. We could die. I just want to put that disclaimer out there that you know every time I do a Super Battle Road showcase you never know what's gonna happen, right? It's all variable. You could get like super 10 times in the first turn and just like, just die, right? But you know what? We're gonna try our best. Don't judge me if I do die. <laughs> and uh, let's see what this Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta can do. Okay, so he's in the first rotation. Very rare for a showcase, but I'm glad he's there. And uh, let's actually keep him, we're gonna keep him in the first slot there. And item wise, I feel like we're okay, but Maybe I should pop an Icarus just to be safe, because I don't trust the Super Saiyan 3 Go tanks, and uh, Bardock isn't the best tank either, so we're gonna pop the Icarus. Okay, let's be safe. Better safe than sorry, right? Better safe than sorry. All right, and let's go for. Um, I guess it doesn't really matter as long as we. Or we can try to stun Frieza. Actually, let's try to stun Frieza because he is the most dangerous out of the all of these guys. So we're gonna try to stun Frieza, and we can go for Togoma here with the Bardock. And uh, we'll go for we'll go for Sorbet with the Super Saiyan 3 Go Tanks. There we go. Okay. So solid first rotation. Um, let's see what we can tank this for. Type disadvantage, by the way, from Frieza. 57 damage. <laughs> this man just tanked for 57 damage. Okay, we got up to a 1 million attack stat. Uh, we didn't get the stun off, though. But that's okay. That's okay. It's a 50% chance to stun on his super. Um, so you can get it off, you know, half the time, and the other half the time you don't get it off. But either way, um, no matter what happens, he is an incredible tank, guys. I'm actually going to tell you guys exactly what he does for anybody that's not aware. So his new leader skill after the Extreme Z Awakening is SDR types key plus 3, HP, attack, and defense plus 90%. So fairly solid SDR type leader skill. Um, his super attack is immense damage with a high chance of stunning the enemy. So 50%, like I said. Uh, I'll get to the other stuff in a second. Let me actually focus on this rotation here. We still have the Icarus active, right? So we don't have to worry too much um, about the damage we're gonna take. But um, just be safe. I'm gonna put, yeah, I'm gonna put the Tech Goku at the end, um, and let's go for Sashami, Sashimi. I don't know exactly how to say his name still, but uh, you guys get the point. And I'm gonna kill Togoma here, hopefully, and then let's go for Frieza. Uh, oh damn, no Rainbow Orbs though. All right, what can you do? Okay. Uh, moving on to his passive, he reduces damage dealt by 80% for 10 turns. 80%, which is why he took a type disadvantage super on Super Battle Road for what, 57 damage was it? I think it was 57 damage, right? And uh, he also now gains an additional attack plus 120% when the targeted enemy is stunned. So um, essentially, you know, he's never been known as like a damage dealer. He doesn't, his role always has been defense, right? And he has always been one of the best like tanks in the game. But now, um, with the Extreme Z Awakening, he can also become a very, very serviceable damage dealer. And I'm actually gonna show you guys right now exactly what I mean. So we do have the stun on the Frieza, thanks to the Super Saiyan 3 Goku. And we're gonna attack him again because I wanna show you guys what his damage numbers can be. Um, so pay attention to his attack stat. Pay attention to his attack, attack stat. The end number might not be great because you know, if we don't get a crit off, you have type disadvantage, but uh, he should be getting a pretty impressive attack stat uh, right here. And we should finish off Togoma here as well um, with the Bardock and uh, at least put a dent in Sashimi, a uh, Sashami or what, you know, whatever, <laughs> right here with the Goku. All right, um, we're not using an item. I don't think we have to. Fingers crossed though. Okay, here we go. Um, his links, Golden Warrior. Okay, 2.9 million guys. 2.9 million, almost 3 million. And uh, he got the stun off again. Doesn't really, I mean, I guess next turn Freeze will be stunned still, which is great. Um, so yeah, okay, almost 3 million there. 
He can get even higher if you guys have the Bardock passive active if you're, if you're below 50% HP. Um, but we didn't have it there. So yeah, almost 3 million. Could have been maybe 3.5, maybe even a little bit higher with the Bardock passive octave. Octave active. What am I even saying? Um, and his links are Golden Warrior, Super Saiyan Warrior Race, Super Saiyan Over in a Flash, Limit Breaking Form, and Fierce Battle. So pretty solid, pretty decent um, link set right there. And um, he actually links very well with pretty much everybody on the Super Saiyan 3 team. So I believe his best category overall is going to be Super Saiyan 3, um, mainly because of uh, the links, right? So with pretty much any any unit on this team, any partner on this team, he'll link extremely well. Um, you know, Super Saiyan 3 Goku, Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks, uh, they all have over in the flash, a lot of them all have Golden Warrior, Super Saiyan, um, Fierce Battle, obviously. So yeah, he links extremely, extremely well on this team, and this pretty much is the best team you can run him on. Um, of course, there's Vegeta's family, but I don't even think Vegeta's family is as good of a category for him as Super Saiyan 3. You guys can correct me if I'm wrong, but of course, I play global mainly, so I don't know too much about Vegeta's family as far as team composition goes. And uh, categories, he has three. Super Saiyan 3, Pure Saiyans, and Vegeta's family, and those are only options. Of course, he can fit fine on you know, Pure Saiyans, but um, if you don't bring a lot of Super Saiyan 3s or units with uh, over in a flash, it's going to struggle for key a little bit, so keep that in mind. Okay, so we got our boy Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta back. Um, should we pop an item? Maybe... Yeah, if we get Super twice at the end, we're, we're pretty much dead. So we're going to pop... Um, I guess another Icarus could... Yeah, let's do another Icarus, why not? I always say, man, better safe than sorry. I've, I've <laughs> like, been too cautious or, like, been too... Um, chill in the past like too many times just like straight up died to super so i don't want to go through that mistake especially for the showcase uh let's go for our boy winnie the pooh here there we go and we can attack um kaba here and frost lastly can we get some rainbow we got one rainbow all right so i mean there's not much else for me to say about this guy uh he is insanely insanely tanky as you guys can see double digit damage i don't think he's taken uh, triple di digit damage this entire fight yet and um, you know his damage output is still quite impressive too uh, even though he's not really known as a damage dealer if you guys can get the stun off if someone else can stun for him or he stuns himself then um, you know that damage becomes quite insane like he is up there with some of the hardest hitting units in the entire game so uh, yeah, he's just incredible. He's incredible. And I know I've, I've heard some people say like the tech Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta, they think it's better because he does more damage. And uh, all I can really say to these, those people is like damage output isn't everything. You know what I'm saying? Like just because one unit hits harder than another unit doesn't mean that it's a better unit because uh, STR Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta is by far the better tank between the tech one and the STR one. And uh, I would take the extra tanking all day, man, like any day. So that's just my opinion okay um moving on though we do have our Whis or not our, our Whis, our Icarus active but I'm still kind of a little bit worried about the rotation so I might actually pop a nurse Chi Chi there's a lot of attacks so we're gonna pop nurse Chi Chi just be safe better safe than sorry and uh, I can feel pretty confident about putting this guy at the end now and let's try to actually take out um, a Geta here I think our Super Saiyan 3 Goku can actually do it if you get a crit can do like two to three million damage it should be gg for him and maybe kaba can die too yo kaba can you die for me please and let's go for winnie the pooh here all right um oh one other thing i actually want to mention about super saiyan 3 vegeta the str one that is is um for his hidden potential system i actually went with as many additionals as possible as opposed to crits which is what you normally do for most like top tier dokkan fest units right you want to go for as many crits as possible for like you know, Tech Vegito Blue or STR Rose or anything like that. But it's a different story for the STR Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta because um, because of his passive, basically. He gets the additional 120% attack when the target enemy is stunned, right? So the idea of giving him mostly additionals is that he would um, super first turn, like super do his first super and stun the enemy and then get an additional super off or um, you know have a higher chance of getting additional super off and getting that additional damage boost so um that's my my theory behind him and that's how i built him that's how i like to run him and uh, you guys of course can do whatever you want it's up to you 
but I do think that is um, the best way to go about building this guy. Okay, let's actually pop him as a snake. And we should mostly be done this turn. Um, I mean, if we don't, we might be a little bit screwed for items. But you know what? The, the goal in this showcase is not to exactly finish the, 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 the round. Obviously, it'd be best case scenario if I can actually beat the Super Battle Road stage while doing the showcase. But the main thing is to showcase to you guys the unit. And uh, if I can accomplish that, which I think I've already done, then I think that's enough for me, man. Okay, <laughs> 1.4 mil. Alright, we got the 1.4 mil. And we did get the stun off, but no additional steal. Okay, that's weird. That's weird. We didn't get a single additional in the showcase off yet. And this guy has 15 crit, which is a 30%, no, 15 additional, which is a 30% chance to additional. So hopefully next round maybe we can see an additional, but uh, it's a little bit frustrating. I'm not gonna lie. Oh my god. Um wow, I did not expect that damage, dude. 135k still. Damn, okay. Okay. What can you do? What can you do? Um, okay, decisions have to be made now because... I mean, okay, Super Saiyan 3... The AGL Super Saiyan 3 has a lot of defense, so I'm not too worried about him for tanking purposes. Um, it's just a question of whether or not we can finish off hit. Um, yeah, can we finish off hit? I don't know. If I use... If I use an Android 8, can we still survive round 3? That's the question. Um, you know what, we do have a token attack off, probably, like, that's that's getting coming off, uh, probably in the third round, so I don't, I, we still have a heal there, so I'm gonna use an Android 8, just to be safe. And, uh, hopefully not regret my decision. Um, okay, okay, here we go. Oh, fingers crossed, guys. But, I mean, as far as Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta goes, uh, I think you guys have seen a good amount. Of course, uh, if I was not doing, like, Super Battle Road, if I was doing, you know, some other random stage, uh, or, like, boss switch or something like that, I could have brought some more supports, I could have brought more items, but we're trying to get through Super Battle Road. I think most people will want to use this guy for Super Battle Road, so, uh, to me, it makes sense to do the showcase for SBR. He is, in my opinion, like, pretty much one of the most perfect, uh, SBR units in the game. Like, he was perfectly built for this mode, so... Um, yeah, I think, you know, this is really the only way to showcase him, and hopefully you guys are are seeing the value of this guy, and that I see, man. He's just incredibly, incredibly good. Alright, we made it through. We still have three items. We have the last round with, uh, I believe it's Rose and, is it Rose and Zamasu? Yeah, Rose and Zamasu, there we go. So, um, okay, let's, let's just try to get through this. Let's try to stun, let's actually try to stun the Rose here. And uh, I think he does do more damage. So I'm gonna try to stun him. Uh, should we use an item? I'm kind of scared about all of those rosy attacks at the end. If I don't get the stun off, yeah, if I don't get the stun off, then Bardock could just could die. But if I use an item here, I might not survive. Um, you know what? Okay, we're gonna we're gonna be safe. We're gonna play it safe. All right, all right, let's go. Oh man, okay. <laughs> Can we stun? Vegeta, please stun for us. Yo, we're doing a showcase, man. Dude, you gotta show out. You gotta show out. Um, and I guess we'll go for Zamasu with uh, our GT Goku. And let's keep going for Zamasu because we're praying that Rose is gonna be stunned. Come on. All right, we're gonna take this double Vegeta again. 20 damage, okay. All right, and 1.3 million attacks that. Can we get this done? Yes, addition. Oh my god, no additional though. Well, you know what? We got the stun though. We got the stun. That's very, very important <laughs> important right now. Um, a lot more important than the actual damage he's outputting. Uh, his tanking and his stunning are definitely uh, key for Super Battle, Ro Super Battle Road. And when some people talk about him, they're like, you know what? He doesn't do that much damage. And I'm like, you know, first of all, his damage really isn't that bad for someone that tanks or for a unit that tanks as well as he does. Um, but in addition to that, he, uh, I think, like, to, to me, his value is more in the defensive side, um, and I do, like, find him to be a lot more important as a, a tank, so I don't mind the lack of damage as much, basically, and of course, once he gets a stun off, I mean, he is right up there with the harder hitting units in the game, man, so uh, I got no complaints, I really got no complaints, okay, here we go, um... Of course, Rose is stunned, so we don't have to worry about him. The only thing is the Masu, but I'm hoping that maybe Super Saiyan 3 Go Tanks can actually finish him off. Mm, not quite, not quite. Hmm. 
Okay, I might have made a mistake here. <laughs> I might I should have itemed. I should have itemed. Am I gonna die? No, I I realized my mistake a little bit too late. Oh crap. Damn it. Okay, okay. That's that sucks. No, I should have itemed. It, it was a rookie mistake. I think I was too focused on talking about the Super Saiyan 3 Super Saiyan, Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta and uh, I I didn't I didn't item when I should have, but you guys saw, man. I could have totally totally finished that stage like we had two items left. Um, you know, we had Rose stunned. We probably could have just kept stunning him with the with the Vegeta. But that's my bad, guys. I apologize. Uh, I could have made that showcase so much better, but I was like too focused on just talking and uh, not focused enough on the game. If you guys have been on my streams for Super Battle Road, you understand that's kind of a problem I have. Like I just always talk to people too much and uh, don't focus on the game. And so many times I've died because I forgot to use an item or forgot to attack a certain unit or something like that. But anyways, uh, Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta is awesome. I could have totally cleared that stage, guys. Like let's be real. Let's be real. I'm not. I'm not trying to like, you know like make excuses or anything like that i definitely screwed up but that was definitely a winnable run <laughs> damn it man that's frustrating that is super frustrating but um what can you do that's super battle road for you but this man uh can definitely make your life a lot easier for super battle road um and i would suggest using him if you guys haven't yet uh definitely farm him up he's totally worth it even not at rainbow status he's still gonna be tanking for uh, pretty much triple digit damage at the most so you never have to worry about him taking too much damage and uh, he's just an awesome unit man I mean obviously we didn't get him up to like a super high attack stat because we are on super battle road we can't bring too many supports we can't bring uh, damage like enhancing items or anything like that but I was still impressed by what we saw man 3 million attack stat not bad at all and of course defensively he's really second to none so Awesome, awesome overall well rounded unit. Hope you guys enjoyed the showcase. Let me know in the comments down below what exactly you think about the Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta. But that's all I gotta say. As always, if you guys liked the video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's the first time watching me, first time to the channel, you'll like what you see. Then make sure to hit that big red subscribe button. To join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too so that YouTube knows you wanna stay up to date with all my latest content. And uh, that's pretty much it. Hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.